Hey, what's up, guys? Sports to here. Back again for some more NHL 15 Chicago Blackhawks GM mode right here. And we're back, guys. Episode number five right here. We're taking on the Detroit Red Wings, our arch rival here. In this episode tonight, guys, we are on the road and they're at home here tonight, guys. So let's get right into the matchup. Jimmy Howard is their goal. He's 6 and 4 on the year with a 2.05 goals against average. One shot on the year as well. Good save percentage with 9.32 as well. And we're going that today. Anti Ronta, he is three and three in the year with one shot out at two point three four goalie. Um, yeah. So let's get right to this, guys. And without further ado, let's jump right into the action. So eighteen minutes forty three seconds going here. Johan Franzen's got the puck, and he's seeing in. It's gonna be Arista right past Anti Ronta, but he's not gonna. He misses it, but off the rebound, rebound, and yes, who that is? That's Pavel. That's that Suk. He gets the goal. And that's an early one nothing lead for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, Red Wings. Let's replay one more time at this. See, the suit gets it. Has Zetterberg on the um, assist right there. Zetterberg inside. It's a rebound off of Ronta, who, who stopped the puck. But that suit picks, picks up the pieces, and it's one nothing Detroit Red Wings. Still one nothing though later here, and you see a power play opportunity for our Blackhawks as uh, was goaltender interference here by Tyler Nequist. So it was giving us an opportunity to maybe hopefully score a goal or right take a look at the replay once again. It was a uh, I don't really know how that was really goaltender interference, but Thomas Totar Tata or whatever his name is, he gets the goal interference there. So we get the puck here. Marion Hoses on the puck inside to Brandon Saad, who cannot get it in though. And then it's a goaltender, like that should be goaltender interference, but nonetheless, Saad is there to pick up the easy goal right there as Howard was distracted. It looked like it just got ran into. But nonetheless, we get the goal and it's 1 1 all tied up here as Hosa gets the nice assist right there. Took up the replay. Hosa slides into the goaltender, Howard, and then Saad is right there to pick up the pieces once again with a nice goal. Okay, so once again here, now we're going inside of the power play opportunity for our Blackhawks. That's two power plays that are ready for the Red Wings, Red Wings early on in this game. And giving us another opportunity to hopefully score some more goals. You see, there was like a tripping penalty, it seems. Yeah, tripping on there, Gustav Nyquist. So, good to see there for us. Now, face-offs one, Patrick Kane, that nice big hit right there. We had the puck. Okay, here comes the run blend. Now run blend's going to go inside, but with an offside penalty. And you see the power play would um, transition into nothing, as you see here. Brad Richards is about to go take the uh, the face-off penalty here. And you see Bant 1, 2, and there it is. Power play, power play is over. And we don't really capitalize off of that. So, we go first intermission here. It is still 1-1. One to one. Red Wings and Hawks still tied up. Hopefully, let's see if our Blackhawks can score some more goals here in the second half. So, first period in the books, and it is still 1-1, one one, Hawks and the Red Wings. Okay, we are back here in the second quarter, second period here. Patrick Kane's getting up the ice, and he's going up ahead. He wrist her right past uh, Jimmy Howard. He deflected, and it goes in. It looks like it was the defenseman who knocked it in. Kane gets credit for the goal, but nonetheless, the Chicago Blackhawks are up now 2-1. to one. A really lucky goal for us. So, the replay here, Kane, wrist her, goes inside. Looks like 52. He was the one that knocked it in. I really cannot believe that happened right there, but is that Backstrom? Looks like it was maybe it was Backstrom. I don't really know, but he knocked it in, and he's upset too. He bangs a stick down the ice, but nonetheless, Patrick Kane gets credit for the goal, and it's now a two to one ball game. So eight fifty remaining in the second uh, period right now. We got the uh, Red Wings on the attack. It's a long shot. It trickles in. That's a nice wrister shot right there. Uh, I mean, a slap shot. He gets it in. His Ronson blocked it, but it just trickled in after the ice. Take a little replay once again on this one. This was this was two pretty crazy goals right here. As Johan Franzen getting the goal by Cronwell and Tatar assisting him. But you see it's a long slap shot, and it bounces off of Ronta and it trickles into the net. So pretty nuts right there. Look at that. Just goes right up and goes right in. So down 2-2 now. Waiting in 22 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. I'm um, second period. Hosa misses the uh, the misses the shot there. It was nice uh, blocked by Jimmy Howard. And nine seconds remaining here. Trying to see if we can attack um, in our uh, zone here. Not doing too well good right there. But it looks like 2-1 and that is... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. A last second goal with .6 remaining in the second period. And the Detroit Red Wings pick up another goal. Oh, man. Three goals early on here. That's Brendan Smith, the defenseman. He gets the goal now. Just take a look at the replay. He just came in on us, and he gets the goal. So 3-2 Red Wings now. They have the lead. Tatar's got the puck, and he's getting up the ice. He, uh, nice block there by Ranta. 
I was a glove side, but we turned the uh, puck over. Johan Franz has now got the puck back to Tatar, back inside of Franz, and Franz and going up the ice. But he's um, Brister there, blocked by the Hawks. Now Brian Bickles on the ice. He's getting up, and he's going to pass, pass it out to Patrick Sharp. Sharp gets a big hit right there. So the Red Wings back on the attack. Tatar's got the puck once again now inside. Johan Franz and Franz making a move inside, but a nice uh, big hit there by the defenseman right there. Now Andrew Shaw, Shaw going inside, he absorbs another big hit as well. And uh, look at that, back-to-back-to-back big hits. So still 3-2 here later, and uh, the Red Wings are on the attack. Once again, it's a backhanded uh, shot right there. That was crazy, and what an awesome goal right there for the Red Wings. Not good for us, but 4-2, and the Red Wings are up now by two goals. David Cleary on the goal right there. All right, now still down two goals. We got Daniel Carcillo in now. He's looking to try to make some magic here. Now it's going to be inside of Ben Smith. Smith going inside, and he's going to pass it out to Carcillo. Carcillo trying to find somebody open here. He's going to go inside. It's a wrister, and it's a t- it looks like it's tipped in, but they call no goal. Kind of surprising. Let's look at the replay once again here. I was uh, pretty shocked when this happened, but I think it was goaltender interference, as you can see just in a minute here. But Carcillo, he gives it out to Ben Smith, and he tips it in. Looks like um, not going to be a goal, I guess. I don't really know. But it looks like it was defensive. Uh, it was, uh, I, I guess, goaltender interference, but whatever. So, nonetheless, then they, let's see what the call is. And he waves his arm. So, there it is. No goal. And it is still a 4 to 2 game. Nine minutes remaining now here, guys. We got Brad uh, right inside. Brad Richards in along with Christopher Steeze, the line here today. All right, got Nyquist in right now. He's going to get absorbed a big hit by the defenseman. Nice job with the Blackhawks defense right there, but sets up a beautiful shot, an absolute beautiful shot. I think that was Nyquist once again with another goal. Five goals for the for the Red Wings. It's now a 5-2 to game, and uh, not looking good for Antti Ranta. That's Actually, no, that's Pavel. Pavel, that's Suk again. Tough name to pronounce, but he gets a nice goal right nonetheless. There's still 5-2. to two. Now Nicholas Jomerson's in the puck now trying to see if we can get something going here. Richard's out now into Brandon Saad. Now spins around the ice. Gets some open space and a slap shot and it goes right past Jimmy Howard. So Hawks, uh, you, could, you could push him down, but they're going to they're gonna kick back up. And look at that, 5-3 to three now. We get another goal there by Brandon Saad. He's been very hot as, uh, hot as of late as Brandon, Brad Richards there and uh, Jomerson on the assist. Pretty darn awesome right there. Pretty cool shot right past Howard Glove side. And he nails it for another Blackhawks goal. So 3-2. to two. It didn't seem like I, Howard saw that one. That was such a hard uh, slap shot there. Pretty awesome to see. Antti Ranta now has got a nice, nice stop right there. He's going to give it inside of Jonathan Taze, the captain, going inside now. He's going to wrist her. No, he's going to miss it. And then he's going to get it again. Look at that. I accidentally missed it. And then shoot it. I shot it again, and I made it. That's pretty darn awesome. And now we're only down by one goal. We could be tied right now. But unfortunately... We can't. So yeah, because of the, because um, you know, because I gave up those couple of extra goals. If I didn't give up one of those goals right now, it could be a tie game. But 32 seconds left. The Hawks still have some magic left. But can we finish it off? All right, 35 seconds left. They actually have a power play on us too. Surprisingly. All right, so here we go. Brad, uh, Sh- Brandon, Brad Richards, and Patrick Sharp are in for the power kill defense right here, along with the defenseman as well. We are trying everything here, trying to resort to some last minute um, tricks up our sleeves. So Brad Richards actually gets called for another penalty. So we're now got a five on three opportunity. All right, so we win the face off there. Duncan Keith, our top two defenseman, and Brent, uh, Brent Seabrook now. Keith going inside, trying to find a go. Oh, that could have been right there for Jonathan Taze. And it's an outlet pass there for the Red Wings. It's going to be def- uh, deflected there by Ranta. Seabrook's got the puck now inside of Jonathan Taze, the captain, trying to skate up the ice, trying to find some open space. Really can't, though, and he's going to shoot it, but right there for Jimmy Howard, and that is all she wrote. Those are Detroit Red Wings edge out the Blackhawks here, guys. 5-4 in this episode. A good good showing there by both teams, but five goals uh, on our side and four goals on there. Not, that's a high-scoring affair. And uh, let's check out some of the replays now, some of the injury report. As you see, we lost Corey Crawford, Patrick Sharp, and uh, for quite some time, Sharp's got a concussion and Corey Crawford's swollen knee. So Antti Ranta now is going to be playing for quite some time. 
and Sharp is going to be out for quite some time as well. So hopefully we get those guys back later on, though, guys. But next episode is against the Winnipeg Jets. We'll be able to face former um, teammates of us, Dan Dustin Bufflin, former Chicago Blackhawk. We'll be able to face him, guys. 13-20 and 20 versus 19-13 and 13 Hawks. I'm playing very, very good hockey. Hopefully we can uh, rebound after that loss to Detroit, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Make sure you drop a like if you did. Subscribe for some more NHL 15 Chicago Blackhawks general manager mode. And I'll see you in the next episode against Winnipeg. Have a great day. I'll see you then.